Today, making the bet to summon you was the right choice after all. A fight that's gone on for a hundred long years ended so easily. <laughs> Just as I thought, hidden. <laughs> hey, Hundred Knight, she's still alive. Stab her in the mouth. No. Swamp from the pillar first. Make it bloom. Then we'll deal with her. Spread the swamp mud and I'll come there myself to claim her head. <laughs> swamp mud! Swamp mud! My world has gotten even bigger! That's it, Malia. Today ends our time together. Slut! I had no idea you were a talentless hack who depended on the pillar's magic. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll end this now. Wait, Leah. You understand nothing. Please. Please listen to what I have to say. No. You're going to die now. That's it. I was never able to tell you this before, but I'm... I'm your mother! <laughs> you say you're my mother? I say so what? Doubt me all you like, but... Oh, don't misunderstand. I don't doubt you at all. What I mean is, so what if you're my mother? What boring last words. Tell that to the old hag in the afterlife. Let me remind you all that you've done to me up to now. L Leah! Never ever call me that name. My name is Metalia! So sorry. It's all because of me that you... Shut up already! What a big mouth. Allow me to break your neck and rip out your vocal cords! Oh. Hmm. Seems like your special magic-repelling amulet broke during that fight. <laughs> That's almost like begging me to put a hex on you. Leah, you are... Don't open that vile encrusted mouth, you vomiting whore! No, if you're going to go on a rampage, I should just... With my own hands, I... <laughs> Let me show you a fate worse than death! Way more amusing than ripping her corpse to pieces, huh? huh? Oh, I know what'll make this even more fun to watch. You like them? These horny little boy mice suit you pretty well. If you're really my mother, I want you to make me lots of little brothers and sisters. Mommy, dearest. <laughs> That'll 
I'll show her. This is my victory, Malia! <laughs> Back to the Swamp, Hundred Knight. Tonight we celebrate! We'll have Arlecchino prepare the best swamp feed you've ever had! Chino, where's the next course? My apologies for the wait. Um, ta-da! Fried white mouse on a bed of stewed wheatgrass. White mouse, huh? <laughs> what a perfect choice of meat after taking care of that vomiting whore. I caught this particular female mouse in the forest and fried it in kamagama oil to give it a light, crispy taste. Perhaps its taste is thanks to the strong pheromones, as I caught it while it was fleeing from male mice. I believe you can expect a wonderfully rejuvenating effect from this dish. Yes. Oh. Okay. I know. Your reward for defeating that damn witch is that I'll let you eat the mouse. Chew it up thoroughly. Keep working this hard until the day your contract ends, my hundred knight. Oh, I seem to recall that you said you will nullify the contract if it defeats the forest witch. Did you not promise the hundred knight as much? Um... No dice. I'm not nullifying anything yet. I summon the best toy in the world. How could I let it go so soon? If I may, to go against a promise may soil a witch's dignity. Being mean is fine, but don't break a promise. Words from Great Witch Uruka's Witch Doctrine, Chapter 3. Oh yeah? When do I promise anything? That's right, I did it. You're misunderstanding my contract, and just saying. But that whore of a forest witch? Hundred Knight didn't kill her. Who did, huh? Huh? I mean, just read the first part of the contract. Oh, there. Listen up. The Hundred Knights shall remain in service until Metalia's life ends. And no matter the reason, this is non-reversible. There, see? Don't worry about it too much. My life's gonna end in a hundred days. Well, to be more specific, 99 days. But until that day comes, manage to fill the world with swamp mud, and I'll release you for sure. Only 100 days left to live, hmm? Oh, ho, ho, ho. poor Master Leah. This knowledge wounds my loyal heart. Mechtalia! Who gives a crap about living? But as long as I'm forced to be alive, you two will stay under my command. Work. Work hard. Turn the world into one big swamp. <laughs> and then... Mission accomplished. Target elimination confirmed. Good morning, Sir Hundred Knight. 
Today feels ever so refreshing. I pray you had a restful slumber, although sleep must not be necessary for you. I just remembered I was in the middle of cooking breakfast. Yes. Excuse me, Sir Hundred Knight. Could you rouse Master Leah in my stead? Master Leah's bedroom is on the second floor. When Master Leah is waking up, she has a very terrible, uh, very benevolent attitude. Please be aware. Try napping here? Master Leah died last night, so how about it? It's fluffy and super comfy. Hello? Hello? Ignoring me is rude. Oh, all oh, a magic bean. Well, that explains it. Magic beans don't need sleep. Oh, oh dear, Master Leah. Her heart has stopped. Her pupils have dilated. It seems to have been some kind of heart failure. I came here to tell her that breakfast is ready, but she is dead. Whatever shall we do? This is quite a problem. The food will get cold before long. I believe we must do that. Here, I shall pour this down her necrotizing throat. time I arrived, you were already quite dead. This smells like a planned incident. Yes. You're the damn culprit! No! Not my tender neck! <laughs> Arlecchino's murder games never seem to end. If it were anybody else, their story would have ended right there. Game over. Don't make me laugh. An ending rather than a game over sounds far more suitable. Oh yeah? Well, I'm the Swamp Witch. And your master! Your words need to have more respect. More respect! Say nice things to me. But most importantly, Sacrifice your lives for me! That's a true servant. I see. Understood. <clears throat> Though you were thoroughly dead, it is lovely to expect that our master can be revived so easily. The legends are plentiful, but only the great swamp witch, Master Leah, can walk between life and death every day. Supposed to be a compliment? You're just stating the obvious. There's no real meaning to being able to go between life and death. I'm immortal after all. Nothing less is expected. Yes. 
Sage Stone at 10, the Life Elixir at 13. With my skills as a witch from youth, expect nothing less. But to have such unbelievable skills, it seems a tad ironic that you only have 99 days left to live. Huh? Are you really this clueless? One's mortality and life expectancy are completely different things. Oh, is that so? Duh! Understood. I never thought of it that way. Mortality and life expectancy being different. Hmm, rather profound. Of course you have. Even you with that tiny head can still understand my greatness. My admiration for you is swelling. Even though I want to spread my greatness, I don't want to go anywhere without swamps. And I'm short on time. This is indeed a concern. That's why I have to release the pillars in a hurry and show off my greatness to everyone in the world. Such a grand dream is to be expected from the great swamp witch. Talk and talk, but there's no back and forth with you at all. So boring. A thousand points. Whatever. Enough bullshit. Since that annoying vomiting whore has been taken care of, we need to ramp up our swamp expansion plans. To do that, we must continue to bloom or release large pillars known as Pillars of Temple. Let's bloom them left and right. Bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom! All right, let's go open up that gate. It'll be the first time in a hundred years. Come here, Hundred Knight. Let me give you your next mission. Act One, Chapter Two, The Witch and the Inquisitor.